Well, hello there. Today, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to upgrade my main computer and I'm going to record it and show you what my, my main computer is composed of. Right now, I am running the only hard drive on this thing is a 40 gigabyte uh, Western Digital hard drive from 2004 or 2005, I'm not sure. And that is the only hard drive in this thing. The storage is managed by my, my server right there, which has a one terabyte hard drive in it. And they are connected through gigabit right there, which grants me about 120 megabyte per second, which is a pretty fast connection. But whenever I want to copy a file from the server to the computer, I find a bottleneck. And the thing is, this thing doesn't even write at 40 megabyte a second sustained. So what I'm going to put in there is this little thing. An OCZ ARC 100, 120 gigabyte, whoops, 120 gigabyte solid state drive. So now let's go for the final power off with the hard drive. I have made a live uh, ARC Linux USB stick so I can transfer my install from the hard drive to the SSD so let's do the final shutdown for this computer with its mechanical hard drive there it goes so now let's take it out of there and let's put the, the SSD in and transfer the data from the hard drive to the SSD. So here we are with our computer, well, with my computer. And well, let's show you what the computer is. Um, the case is just a generic server case that I got from high school, a teacher gave it to me. It was in really bad shape and it still is pretty much but yeah there's a case the case is just a generic server case there's nothing to it except for this cool little flip door which has a hard drive holder right there and another one that I made this one wasn't there originally uh, so now for the parts themselves. First, we've got the hard drive, uh, which is, well, that 40 gigabyte Western Digital hard drive that I told you about. Oh no, it's actually a Samsung. Well, I stand corrected now. We have uh, dual Xeon E5405s right here running at 2 gigahertz each with zip tied. Uh, heat sinks because the socket 771 heat sinks are too expensive and I just had these two lying around and zip ties work just fine. Uh, we have 8 gigabytes of fully buffered DDR2 RAM right here in four 2 gigabyte modules. We have a Seasonic uh, uh, I think it is an yeah M12 2 520 watt semi modular power supply 80 plus bronze. This is the newest component in all of the all of the system. My cat has just seen something that's, and she's gonna catch it. What it is, I don't know, but I hope she catches it. Um, as a motherboard, we have a Supermicro X7 
DWN Plus, which has, let's look at the back I.O. What do you want? Well, whatever. Uh, which has dual PS2 ports, dual USB ports, serial port, integrated graphics card, which I don't use, and dual gigabit LANs. Intel, by the way. These are both controlled by an Intel chipset. Now, graphics cards. I have an NVIDIA Quadro FX580 as my main graphics card, right here. And I have uh, another NVIDIA card. This is uh, an NVIDIA GeForce GT 8500 as my secondary card. The cooler is from a from a GeForce uh, 9800 GTX Plus with an AMD cooler fan stuck on it. And down here we have the PCI cards. We have a Pinnacle uh, MTV something. There you can see it. MTV 5101, whatever. It is just a capture card. As you can see with S-Video and Composite. It also has an analog tuner, but there's no use for an analog tuner anymore. And we have a uh, uh, Dell OEM. Uh, Sound Blaster 5.1 Digital Sound Blaster Live 5.1 Digital Sound Card So the outputs in the back look like this uh, Dual DVIs Right here, these are DVI ports Dual, dual Display Ports HDMI and S-Video Out S-Video In Composite Audio input, uh, TV input for analog, MIDI slash um, uh, game port. Uh, uh, what is this? Line output, two line outputs, uh, one microphone input, one uh, line input, and one digital out SPDIF and well yeah as you can see the case has been modded quite a bit because this motherboard is actually taller than a standard IDX motherboard as you can see it extends up to the right there a normal ATX motherboard ends here so I have moved the power supply from the top to here and here it also cools the RAM, which this RAM needs active cooling. It literally does need active cooling. And it cools the chipset too. So it's a, that's a good placement for the for the power supply. And at the, at the top here we have two fans extracted from a, an Xbox 360, which help cool the system. The grill is also extracted from an Xbox 360 I think it is the bottom grill or the top grill I'm not sure no the bottom grill the top grill has the thing for the hard drive um, up front we have 100, uh, 120 millimeter fan and that's about all the cooling we have well I have a fan right here on the side running at 5 volts just an 80 mil fan Really quiet to cool the graphics cards. So now we're gonna be putting in this little guy in here. This is just a dead hard drive that I have in there for well for holding the screws in so I don't lose them. So yeah. Let's take a screwdriver and loosen those and put this in. Alright, so now we have our SSD installed alongside our hard drive, right there, so we can copy all the files from the hard drive to the SSD. This is just provisional. So yeah, let's turn this thing around. 
Oops, I need to do that with both hands. Connect it to the TV and connect a keyboard up to it and copy all of our stuff. Part first partition the the SSD and then copy all of our stuff. And there's my cat again. Focus on my cat. Focus on there. Oh, there we go. Cheers, pa. <laughs> now, just a little tip for those of you who want to upgrade to an SSD or already have an SSD and don't know this. Uh, uh, enable AHCI on your BIOS. Enable SATA AHCI. Just a tip because it is an enhanced protocol for well it's for rotating media mainly but uh, it also works for SSDs and it has a lot of commands that are not present in IDE mode so uh, like commands like trim for example which reduces a lot of wear on the on the SSD and just ignore this because none 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 it for some reason this BIOS doesn't like to show um, uh, hard drives in the BIOS but it does detect them I think it is because it has a different controller card so now what we're gonna do is set the first boot as you can see we have PCI SCSI we have there our OCC hard drive well SSD so it shows up but we're gonna boot from that Kingston Data Traveler USB drive so we can get into the we can get into a live environment yep exit we can get into a live GNU Linux environment and we can copy all of the files this board takes a while to post mainly because it is a server board and it does its things but yeah this TV is also really slow switching on when it comes to VGA switching there we go, Arc Linux Let's boot in 64-bit mode. There we go. Okay, so while the the footage for the last clip was transferring to my server, I took the liberty to take the old hard drive out of the system. As you can see, a Samsung Spinpoint, 40 gigabyte SATA. <laughs> Look at that thing. This thing is ancient. Um, and we are now booted into a grab prompt right here which is good now my boot times used to be around 30 seconds uh, 30 35 seconds let's look at our boot times now that's it <laughs> that's it we are booted okay Let's start X. X took about 20 seconds to start before on the on the hard drive. So let's try and start X. Let, let me move my mouse right here. It'll be probably fucked up because well, I only have one display plugged in and this thing is called, already configured for dual head. But let's start X, shall we?
Bam. <laughs> that was it. That was it. Seriously, that was it. I mean, I want to load a heavy program. Let's load Shotcut, which takes a long time to load normally. Oh my god, it like loaded instantly. <laughs> Damn. This thing is fast as all heck now. So yeah, let me put it back into my into my main setup. So here we are, back in my main setup. And everything is just so freaking fast. Everything is just I mean web browser. Let, let's try opening Firefox, see how long it takes. <laughs> it took nothing. It took nothing. <laughs> Look at that. And it's loading all the cached tabs in like no time. Wow. Look at that. Impressive. I mean, again, um, multimedia shortcut. Shortcut took a, a really, really, really long time to open up before and look at that now it just everything is so responsive now everything is just so responsive wow I am really impressed I am really impressed so yeah that was it now we have an SSD in here <laughs> Everything is just so quick. And look at that, free space, 45 gigs. So, yeah. That's it for this video. Um, so, you know. Comment, like, subscribe, whatever. And bye. <laughs>